Welcome back to Newfoundland for the sixth and final part of Team Wild's Carnivore Moose Meat Special. In part one, we harvested a young bull moose. In part two, we learned how one person can field dress a large game animal. Part three showed us how to remove and debone the haunch. And then the shoulder in part four. Before finishing off in part five with a back strap, ribs and neck meat. So with a massive pile of tasty moose venison packed out and brought down the mountain to civilization, what do we do next? We're here at Ironbound Outfitters preferred butcher and meat preparation specialist, Countryside Abattoir, where proprietor Boy Gillingham is going to run us through what the professionals do with moose meat before shipping it off to successful hey, hunters. How are, you? How are you doing? Pretty good. Good, so Boyd, all of this is yours? Yes. So Countryside Abattoir is Newfoundland's premier um, moose meat processing facility. I you? would say, yes. I would say we do as much as anybody around. So how long have you been doing this for? It's my 21st year. So you're reasonably experienced? Yeah, I've always in the meat business for about 40 years now. Okay, so it's not just moose you, you process here, it's all manner of different carcasses, is that, is that correct? Yeah, we do a bit of beef and you know stuff like that. And, but mostly beef and, and moose, that's about it. Yeah. We so slaughter and stuff like that. Right? So how many moose do you process during the season on average? Oh, it's hard to say. It's off and on, right? I'd say, well, right now it's slow, right? I just, like, it's like the peak seasons when the outfitters are in. Yeah. Like the, the ones, all the, the guys that bring hunters in. September and October. September and October is the busy season. And then it kind of, we only got a couple of days a week from there on after. Because yeah. right? so. a lot of people fly into Newfoundland and to come hunting. Uh, so they don't actually have their own meat processing facility. So they need to come no. to somebody like you exactly. to help them get it from what is basically four courses and a couple of back straps into patties and steaks and sausage. And so, so what do hunters tend to, to expect from their moose meat when they bring it to you? What, what do they like you to do with it? Well, it's to take it and put it in a vacuum pack, right? So it all goes in a vacuum pack and so it's boxed. They usually get four to five boxes per moose and then it's shipped. It's usually a trucking company goes to the United States, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they, it goes to a storage facility and picked up, right? Yeah. And you have different types of carcasses come in. Sometimes it comes in in the fur. Yes. And sometimes Mark will bring it in deboned when they try to pack it down the yes. mountain. What do you prefer? Well, I prefer hanging up, like you know, skinned and in quarters. And how many different cuts do you do you tend to make for the meat? Do you like a lot of sausage or burgers or what's if you had to advise somebody on how to get their moose cut? What would you say? Well, you get an average. You can say like 25, 30 pounds of sausage for four or five box of patties and. You know, and then rest in steaks and rolls and stuff like that, right? Yeah, it comes in the door, it gets weighed, put on hooks, and it goes over the scale up here. There's a scale. Oh, and, it, and it whizzes around. Goes right on around, goes into the cooler. Like, usually try to get a day for or overnight, right? Goes in this cooler. So during the season, all of this will be full of moose meat. Like just like this one here. Right. Just like this one here. Yeah. Like here, take it off. Cut it down in the saw and debone it mostly. Debone it, carve it into steaks. Yeah, cut it into steaks, goes over here, girls pack it, goes through a vacuum machine. Vacuum machine makes um, And this sausage machine. So here's where it happens. Right. What you need to do come to buy Ironbound out Outfitters, shoot an enormous bull moose, maybe a 20 pointer, right. something like that, and then send the carcass over to Boyd. He'll make sure it's processed professionally, burgers, patties, 20 pounds of burgers you've heard. Processed, frozen, and then shipped straight to your door. So, any advice for the hunters back home when they're gonna shoot a moose for me? Shoot them once. Yeah. Shoot them well. Less damage the better. <laughs> yes, okay, Boyd, well, thank you so much for your time. It's really great meeting you. Thank you. Good luck, and I'll be sending my moose to you. I think there's two on the way right now. Okay, so. thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> so there we have it. Harvesting and preparing a huge pile of moose venison can be a daunting task. But with tips from professionals like Donny Benoit and Boyd Gillingham, I'm sure it will make harvesting my next moose a darn sight easier. So it's goodbye to Newfoundland, and a big thank you to Ironbound Outfitters, Team Wild's official Newfoundland hunting destination. And we'll see you next time on Team Wild's Carnivore. To book your moose hunting adventure of a lifetime with Ironbound Outfitters, visit newfoundlandmoose.com.
and subscribe to Team Wild TV to stay up to date with our brand new and exciting lineup of shows for 2013.